desert wind whipped up a storm of sand that made keeping cars pointing in the right direction a feat of superhuman skill on the opening day of pre-season testing in Bahrain, where there are only three days for teams and drivers to prepare everything they need before the first race of the season. And it was the Bulls that charged out of the blocks first, Max Verstappen picking up from where he left off at the end of 2020 with his victory in Abu Dhabi. His time of 1 minute 30.412 was two tenths of a second quicker than his rivals, and he completed a mammoth 139 laps to show that Red Bull have the reliability to match their speed, a whole two and a half Grand Prix distances. McLaren's Lando Norris was second fastest in a strong showing, while his new teammate Daniel Ricciardo kicked off his McLaren career with a solid seventh place. Esteban Ocon had a mighty day for Alpine, the rebranded Renault outfit, four tenths back from Verstappen, but posting 129 laps in an epic effort. Very, very productive day, that's for sure. Uh, we completed the whole program, no reliability issue, just working on what we wanted, basically to get ready for the first weekend, and uh, they are all fine for us, all fine so far. Following multiple years of metronomic reliability, it was a shock to see reigning champions Mercedes struggle. Valtteri Bottas limping back to the pits with just a single installation lap under his belt, and a gearbox change restricting the fin to just six timed laps before the lunch break. Six total laps, all with aero rakes in the car, so not, not much running today, so not an ideal, ideal start. Lewis Hamilton took over the wheel for the afternoon, but uncharacteristically struggled for grip, only 10th quickest for the reigning world champion. Ferrari are hoping a new power unit can revive their fortunes after falling to sixth in last year's Constructors' Championship. Charles Leclerc was running solidly before a power unit issue brought his progress to a halt at the end of the morning session. Carlos Sainz's debut in red was smooth though, with a consistent afternoon seeing him end fifth fastest, despite a spin at turn 11. Sebastian Vettel shared driving duties for Aston Martin in the racing green AMR 21, before Lance Stroll took over for the afternoon session and went fourth fastest. Mick Schumacher returned the famous surname to the F1 timesheets for the first time in eight years, but gearbox issues meant he managed just 15 laps for new employers Haas. The American team running two rookie drivers this season, with Nikita Mazepin posting a healthier lap count of 70. 2021's third rookie Yuki Tsunoda had a decent day in the Alpha Tauri, fractionally slower than teammate and Bahrain specialist Pierre Gasly, but both drivers inside the top 10. Alfa Romeo completed the second most laps on day one, with Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi splitting driving duties in the absence of their team principal Fred Vasseur, who's at home recovering from COVID-19. But he'll have been cheered to see 131 laps on the board, and Giovinazzi flying high on the timesheets, P6 for the Italian beginning his third full season in Formula One. And Williams test driver Roy Nassani had day one to himself in the FW43B, posting 83 laps as part of a solid start, before race drivers Nicholas Latifi and George Russell take over for days two and three. We haven't seen the ultimate pace of any of the new cars yet, but the first leaderboard of 2021 makes for interesting reading, with youth on top. Verstappen from Norris, Ocon, Stroll and Sainz. Giovinazzi, the two Alfa Tauris and Lewis Hamilton rounding out the top 10. Charles Leclerc, Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel were next up, with Nassani, Schumacher, Mazepin and the unlucky Bottas completing the timesheets. One day down, two to go. F1 2021 is here. <laughs>